Listen to Brangers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today, got a fancy little one. Um, hopefully, my cloth will be back soon <laughs> to wash it. And we've had some issues with our sewer drains, so I've had to wash it somewhere else. So it's taken a few. So uh, the black will go away here in the near future. So the black will go away here in the near future. But what we have today is giant fire turtle, which what this was, was originally a... Uh, you guys probably guessed it, but a 2003 Godzilla from NECA that converted into this giant turtle monster. Which, if you guys have seen the previous turtle figure I've done, which we already had a video for, we repainted it on here. Uh, there was an extra one sent to me from the same guy and wanted me to make it this turtle kaiju with it. So, as you guys can see here, for the shell was our, from the original turtle. At least the back portion, anyways. The starting from here up to the front, I re-sculpted this entire thing. And what we have here is wires filled with aluminum foil to keep the shape. And then epoxy puttied over top of that. You'll see it's connected on both sides. Gave it kind of a little bit of like a crazy pattern. Which worked out really good because we ended up going with the molten lava look to this guy. And it really helps to accentuate the colors. And it's got a little bit of like a Shin Godzilla look to it. You'll see the little tip here. Also for this guy, I had to re-sculpt the entire neck because the original neck on the Kaiju wasn't going to work. Um, mainly because it had the spines there. Didn't really want the spines. And this gives the arms a little bit more range of motion than what they previously had. So I had to re-sculpt this and then kind of work it uh, work with the turtle head. And then the head here, uh, most of the Godzilla is still intact. I had to chop off the front of the face and then glue the top of the turtle head and the bottom jaw of the turtle onto it and kind of cut around it. And then I re-sculpted the back to kind of match this better. And then you'll see that the mouth is actually a little bit pulsable, so you can get it open and close. And then re-sculpted the inside of the mouth to kind of replicate the original look. It is a little different because I, I just can't really get it to work the way a normal turtle mouth works because of the way it's posed. Uh, for the arms, uh, for Godzilla, I had to, again, chop off half of its arm and then slid this over top of it, which kind of comes to about here. And then I re-sculpted the rest of it up to the base of the shoulder. So I redid some little scales I added and tried to match the look here a little bit better but transitioning into the way the arm looks so you'll see starting from there it starts getting a little bit bigger with the way the the wave pattern is going into the more harsh Godzilla skin and that was pretty much about it in terms of the sculpting also to do the undershell just to make it match in case you saw it and it had to cover up the spines on the back here didn't really go super crazy in detail because for the most part you're not going to really see it anyways and then for the spines here I ended up redoing them but I just made them into like little spiky nobs <laughs> so that he's got a little bit extra detailing and I, I had to do something there and I didn't want to see her cut off every single dorsal spine so I kept the ones that still make sense and then for the actual paint job you'll see here I started with uh, doing this entire guy in gray, and then we did him in red as the base coloring, which I kept the under section of the tail a lot more red than the top. And then dab blacks all over it and dry brush the blacks on to give it more of a molten look to it. And then also hit it with some dark grays and browns too to give it a little bit more character again to try to make it look more rock-like. And then also repainted the toenails here. Although I didn't go super hard into making sure they were super clean because I kind of like the way the red looked around the base of the nail. Again, kind of keeps it fiery. Same with on the nails on the hands here. The beak I kind of left looking more fiery. So I think it kind of helped accentuate the look a little bit. Same with the eyes. are done in a yellow with a little bit of white fur. Um, kind of a pupil so he's got 
it helps to give it more of a directional look. And then the back of the shell did it super black, but kept the uh, the where the plates connect together, uh, putting more emphasis on the magma look for those areas. And then kept them posable, so his head can look up about that far, down about that far, get a little bit side to side. He can rotate around. Also had a super glue everywhere so the paint shouldn't rub off. His arm can go up, down, and get a bend at the elbow and a little bit of rotation. So it's not a crazy range of motion, but gives you a little bit of play. So it's got a little bit of a rotation at the waist. Not too much of a forward and back, but a rotation. Legs, eh, for the most part, everything else is pretty much how posable the Godzilla was. So you get a little bit forward and back. Uh, this knee was super stiff, so I still got to heat that up, but knee can bend, feet can rotate, and the tail. Well, this one is super loose on the back here. It'll hold, but likes to pop off easy, but you get same side-to-side -side motion. As long as I keep that stupid tail in. Decided to just go over this guy and uh, just get him done instead of trying to film everything. Mainly because, uh, just like the previous one, just took a long time to get this guy done which is usually the case for a lot of sculpting ones i know for uh i got a bagan sitting on my table that i got started on shortly since all my other sculpting projects are now done i can start working on him and he'll him i'll film pretty much everything because i'll go over the process a little bit more of what i do on that one than <laughs> say what i did for this guy but anyways help us defeat those guys just by hitting that like button also just greatly appreciate help support the channel subscribe to become a ranger day we also got instagram patreon pictures facebook guys like you with the day with channel donate we greatly appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next video Bye boy